So let me show you how to upgrade the ultimate pack to URP in 2021 and then do some magic. All you need is a lot of patience. Let's create a new project and call it something creative. You know anything. Then get yourself a hot cocoa by feeling how your life is drained out of you. Open package manager under windows tab, then switch to my assets and find the ultimate pack that you bought. Then please check the right version and import and wait. You can check if you have everything, then download it and you guess it right, wait. By the midnight you should have everything ready, but check the demo scenes and if it's working. For switching to the URP, we need to install the Universal Render Pipeline package back from the package manager, this time from Unity Registry. And another waiting. The upgrading to URP is not under edit like in previous versions. Now you go to Windows, Rendering, Render Pipeline Converter and choose the built-in to URP. Then you can check everything and start the converter. Remember, those yellow stuff are just warnings, not errors. Convert assets and then wait. Now the URP is fully set up with render assets and all the other juicy things. Let's go to improve the scene a little bit. For that we need to create a new volume in the scene. Let's choose global volume. Then we create a new post-processing profile by clicking on the new and starting to add new filters like Bloom and crack it up. If you don't see any changes in the gameplay window, you need to allow post-processing on the camera. That's more like it. Just kidding, I hate it. Then we will add probably my favorite tone mapping. To get it going, we need to go to Universal Render Asset and allow the HRP. Now the tone mapping mode work and we select uh, uh, the first one. The workflow is the same from now, adding new color filters, like and seeing what looks best. You can also bake the lighting or download AO filters from the asset store. Please support other developers as well. Also, we get some questions on how to use our pack. You see, it's complicated. You find a model that you like? and then put it in the scene. 